Hello, Brother Monroe here. Welcome back to Ultimate Admiral Dreadnoughts, where we have a battle. A uh, heavy cruiser, a light cruiser, and a destroyer of the British Empire have been found by the USS Raleigh, a Duluth class light cruiser. This is uh, in the Bay of Biscay, I seem to remember, although I'll show you the battle map when I can. Now, she's got a lot of, lots of uh, expectations, does the Raleigh, after the uh, Newark <laughs> in the previous episode. Absolutely dominated, uh, but that was against Chile, not against the Royal Navy. So, can't necessarily expect the same success. By the way, um, I am using uh, 1.1.3 and I am using Admiral Snackbar's uh, balance mod. And I did read in the patch notes for it that he has changed how detection works. Uh, basically, base detection is increased by 1.5. Um, and I have to say, straight away being able to... I actually really like being able to see the ships when they're out of range. <laughs> Because it gives you a little kind of maneuvering phase. It gives you a chance to get an eye on your opponents. Um, see what they're bringing. So we've got the heavy here. We've got an ancient tub of a light cruiser. And we've got... That could actually be a light cruiser, but... I think it's a destroyer. Um, and it allows me to kind of... Yeah, I like it. Um, I know you're looking for feedback. Uh, I think that's a good change. There we go. Opening up. Oh, fuck. Oh, jeez. That was a massive hit on the destroyer. I think we're aiming for the cruiser and it went long. No, we're not. We're actually aiming at the DD. That's... An interesting choice. Presumably it has a lot of torpedoes, but uh, not anymore. <laughs> I'm not going to argue with the captain if that's what he thinks is best. Always happy to see torpedoes going to the bottom. I think this is a kill the torpedo carriers first strategy. It's switched up to the cruiser now. Changing the odd hit. There's, here comes the torpedoes. S pop smoke. Drifting. Look at that. Woo! <laughs> I must say, this thing has a really tight uh, handling setup. <laughs> it's like ridiculous. Look at it. Just doing a donut. <laughs> Actually, I think we might be better off going after the Cardiff. Yep. Captain the Raleigh agrees. The Cardiff just span around. Yeah, more torpedoes. Oh, I was about to say, I'm not sure AG is the best choice. But then you go through the main belt with it. Ouch. <laughs> yeah, that just completely destroyed the Cardiff. A couple of hits. Again, if you're wondering how on earth is he getting those massive hits that kind of end the battle straight away, uh, the balance mod is what he's doing that for sure Cochrane dumping torpedoes in the water oh, it's dangerous to be this close 
Very dangerous. And we're target locking. That doesn't help. No, the balance bar doesn't help with that. We could fire the torpedoes though. Yeah, there we go. Couple of oh, couple of hits and a dud. There we go. A few more. That should cause the Cochrane all sorts of problems. Down she goes. Good job by the Raleigh. Very good job. Mmm. Yeah, impressive stuff. Um, light cruisers taking out heavy cruisers is <laughs> is the kind of trade up that you really want to be able to pull off in this game. Uh, taking out a heavy cruiser and a light cruiser, and um, the what do you call it? Destroyer. <laughs> I remember. <laughs> really nice. Corsica is now independent, I think. Or is it just undergoing rebel? No, it's independent. Look at that. <laughs> okay, how's the naval invasion of the Bahamas going? Fine. And Easter Island. Fine. Good, good, good. What are the Japanese up to? Come and have a look. We're not at war with them. We are at war with Russia, but... <laughs> Uh, let's have a look. Yeah, no, they're just coming to have a look. Oh, we're allied with the Netherlands as well. I did notice they wanted that. Um, they wanted like a battleship or something stupid, but uh, it was. <laughs> I'm not sending you my very latest, presumably top secret battleship design. Uh, ah, yeah, that's the reinforcements for Gibraltar. Good, good, good. Okay, so end the turn. <laughs> but attention oh lots of action in the channel oh we're uh <laughs> we're um apparently having a little go so we've got a convoy attack yeah, attack Seattle, Tacoma, and Augusta. Nice little cruiser squadron. Ah, oh, those are ancient. I mean, fair enough, putting them on convoy duty. Um, there's not much else you can do with those things. Oh, Augusta's actually won the uh, Davenports. Okay, so we've got three different ships oh and we can see the transports lovely no i'm liking this adjustment to the spotting distances yeah here's the escorts oh, well i guess the royal navy is still in never throw anything away mode uh, D D, and there's the modern cruiser. Okay, do the transports have guns? The transports have torpedoes. Oh, -ho, okay. That's how we're playing it, is it? <laughs> Tacoma is by far and away the fastest ship in the. Squadron. Curious to see how the refitted Davenport does uh, with since I changed it down to the five inch gun. Still not in range. About eighteen kilometers away. I'm assuming Seattle has the longest range. 
just under 20. Oh, they've got the same... No, no, they don't have the same gun, I'm not talking about. Mind you, the range on the 6-inch 60s are, is pretty close. Let's head this away. AI actually doing a decent job trying to screen the transports, but if they keep going this way, it's not going to be the best for them. I'm oh, getting some big, big damage in, though. Oh, my. Is that against the uh, old ships or the new ones? No, that's against the newer ships. Just a hail of accurate gunfight. Here come the torpedoes. I wonder which ship he aimed at. Not sure. Where are they? Yeah. Trying to stop the Tacoma heading for the transports. More of them. Many torpedoes now and starting to lose track. So we'll just head away a little bit. Right, back after the transports. Look at that. Beautiful turn. Blow up the torpedoes on the foresight there. That is excellent. Problems that these older cruisers, the Hawk and the Spotty, are going to have is that they are really not very fast. Oh, and exploding. <laughs> Can I get another one? Are you gonna have popcorn? Or are you just gonna sink? <laughs> nah, it looks like the magazine's flooded now. Excellent work, just peppering away. There goes the foresight, and then those two old heavy cruisers bunched together. What kind of armor are they running? 5.8 inch belt, Crook 2. Yeah, that is. Uh, gonna have a hard time. and Augusta refocus on the transports if you please oh we sunk one Fantastic. 
shoot the G. <laughs> really, that's all the name you get. <laughs> there goes the Sparty. Don't shoot the destroyer. Can you shoot the Grampus? Please. One to target each. Then there's the Windsor. I think the magic is going to be far behind. No. Outstanding. Right. Just that destroyer. The Rattlesnake, already damaged, already retreating. Probably will only need a yeah, single inch shell going into the sensitive bit. There we go. Done. Again, excellent work by the cruisers of the uh, United States Navy. Uh, oh, those okay, those five inch definitely work. I know that's mostly against transports, um, but damn. No, fight to the end. Do not. Do not let them uh, surrender. They want a couple of Detroit class heavy cruisers. I mean, those are pretty nice. Ah, uh, sure. Can't trade trade error. That's a new one. Uh, three months on the Bahamas and two months on Easter Island. Okay, what are the other two battles that we have? Uh, more cruiser action and then <laughs> something a bit spicier. Let's do the cruisers to start with. The Helena, the Norfolk and the Langley have found the Bodicea or, no, in fact, that is spelt Bodicea. Uh, I know it's, I know the mod, like, oh yeah, it's actually pronounced Boudicca. It's like, that oh, it doesn't sound right in my ears. Sorry. So yeah, Helena and Norfolk. Now these are, these are, ve these are the chunkier dish, uh, cruisers with 12 8 inch guns, that's pretty spooky. Um, where is the enemy? Probably running away. And uh, we have the Langley as well. Which I think still, despite being a pretty old ship at this point, um, are actually, I think they're, they're going to prove really handy. One thing I do really like about this ability to spot is I now know this is a ghost battle and he's running away. 
Das soll ich jetzt sehen? Du, 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 yep. Bye bye. I don't know how fast he's going yet. No. But yeah, this is a ghost battle of disappointing types. I'm pretty sure he's getting further away. Yeah, look, he's 42 kilometers away and it's going up. Of course, I can't do times 30 when he's spotted. Okay, that is one slight drawback. Um, but I think that's probably going to be pretty hard for a model to change. But uh, we can make it faster. We'll just give up the chases. If you want him to run away, just go back to cruising speed. Save some fuel. Resume your patrol. And uh, I'll be back uh, when the next battle is uh, <laughs> loaded up. Welcome back. Uh, this is an even funner battle than I thought. We're First of all, we're attacking Plymouth in a port strike, which is bold. Uh, it is being defended by the Colossus, uh, which I think I've seen before. Very slow. Um, with 10, 15 inch guns. I think it's not that well armoured, I seem to remember. The Hector, an Agincourt class battlecruiser. I don't remember seeing these. Uh, and a couple of destroyers. The Alaska, the Tampa and the Huntington are engaging with some help. This is the Belgians. <laughs> so they've got a, the San Diego. Not the USS San Diego, but the San Diego. This is one of our uh, Philadelphia-class cruisers. They have a Davenport-class light cruiser. And a bunch of Samson-class destroyers. Which is... Uh, cool. <laughs> Thanks for that, Belgium. <laughs> one thing I have wondered. If, if, if you get a miner on your side that has changed allegiances, I wonder if you get access to other uh, nations ships right it's just put all of them together hasn't it yeah it has okay that's fine i'm gonna put the destroyers oops it easy i'm gonna put them in a group we're gonna no we're gonna screen the battle cruiser and the wilmington yeah they all go roughly the same speed just gonna put the cruisers together save Save. Cool, cool, cool. This is the Puerto, uh, Puerto Rico class that has the upgraded stuff. Yeah, it is. Okay. Let's see what you're about, Britain. In you come with your battleship. Yeah, I, I these were the ones that flash fired all over the place. Uh, back the first time we fought them. Hey, that's not bad. Looks suspiciously like my own battle cruiser. Uh, very similar. Smaller guns though, and a couple of torpedo launchers. Interesting. Yeah, you can definitely see they're similar. Similar ships. <laughs> I've got long range. What are we? 20 kilometers, something like that. Yeah. Getting hits though, which is bloody impressive. Cruisers, why are we doing 18 in uh, 18 knots? We could easily do more. Let's 
It's doing one of those stupid things, isn't it? Yeah. Full full battle speed, please. All ships. Stop being silly. Oh, is the San Diego low on fuel? Okay, you get out of here. You're a Belgian ship anyway. Obviously forgot to uh, fill the tank. Oh, damn. <laughs> Getting some pen big pens. That was a main deck pen. And this is with our 14 inch guns. I'd hate to see what the 16 and 18 inch ships are going <laughs> to be capable of to the enemy. Well, that is not going well for them. Oh! Oh my word! Massive damage! Down she goes. Right, well that's the battleship dealt with. Oh, Jesus. I love this balanced leather hex. It just disintegrates. I mean, it had a pretty good main deck, the Colossus. 9.9 .9 inch. But yeah, we were just able to go through it. Super heavy tube panel shells are not to be trifled with when uh, you're running the balance mod. Let's uh, give chase. They don't need them on screen anymore. But I think the lizard and the uh, oh no the hardy's uh, not not running away not anymore <laughs> but i think the lizard will probably get away So cool seeing a Belgian Belgian flag. Um I must say I, I I I didn't I thought that the Oh you can build ships for miners was, was a fun thing that it when it was announced, but it probably wouldn't interact with it that much. I have to say that <laughs> I am really enjoying the Belgians just showing up and going, yeah. Yeah, let's get him. <laughs> no radar on the lizard, so they've lost sight of me. I can still see them. Not that we're landing shells anywhere near them at the moment. I think we'll, I think we'll let them get away. Yeah, all ships back to cruising speed. Let's uh, let's head home. Well, not home. Let's go and uh, blow up uh, Plymouth and then head home. Fantastic work. Uh, mostly the Alaska doing the heavy list lifting, but the Huntington chipped in pretty nicely as well. Um, the Colossus... I mean, she took 74 hits. Uh, 15 of which were pens. But landed one hit in return. That's the problem. Uh... Did it tell me the crew levels, or it will just default to cadets because they're sunk? 
the Hector, again, just getting wrecked by three 14 inch shells. And yeah, she was hit a bunch of times by the 8 inch, but I think it was mostly the 14s. And then, yeah, the Hardy took <laughs> a couple of 8 inch shells, which ripped her about uh, ripped her apart uh does that mean i get to blow up plymouth that'd be pretty cool uh sorry if you live in plymouth <laughs> and you're watching this uh plymouth i mean they weren't even using the port capacity but i think we do I must, uh, oh, yeah, it's on the previous screen, isn't it? Silly of me. Um, we are over capacity in Gibraltar. Uh, I might send... Have we got any older... Yeah, I might send some of the older ships back. So the... Any Davenport class ships? I think they would be... Better off at home. We've got two Helenas. You need to fix that. Uh, but the others are all fine. So we'll send these two. If it will let me click on them. There we go. I'm going to get them to come home. Just go to Boston. Oh, it's doing that thing again. There we go. Lovely. What might they run into? A couple of light cruisers floating about. <laughs> Building new ships. Ooh, ooh. Meeting and a battle, eh? Let's see what we get. Yes, war continues. Good, 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 good. Uh, I kind of want to fight it, but I kind of want just also want to auto resolve it because it'll I mean I don't want the fleet going back you see okay that's fine just want them to go away I don't want my fleet being uh, distracted while it's happening yeah we've got a heavy cruiser there I'm sure we can have Something go hunter down. Oh, <laughs> yeah, we can. <laughs> oh, the Lexington's still commissioning. Damn, I thought she was ready. Ranger's still commissioning as well. It's in Charleston. The Charleston. It's in the Charleston after them. Right, and I noticed I had two. USS Helena's. One is an actual Helena class. The other one is a Philadelphia class. So, uh, fix that. Right. What is the battle? Bay Biscay heavy cruisers. Oh, okay. This could be fun. Mm -hmm. Is this the Belgian one? It is the Belgian one. Charlotte, still with the older 8-inch guns rather than the newer ones. So you can see the refit here and the original. 
That's really fun. Oh, we also have the tamper bag here, which is the uh, up gunned, upgraded second generation eight inch heavy cruiser. So is the Helena, of course. We've got plenty of firepower to bring against them. And these are the, what, little 6.2 inch ships? 6.4. Oh, hit straight onto the main tower. And another one. Let's take it out the fire control system. I'm thinking better of that. A lot of firepower. A lot of eight inch shells going down range. Oh, <laughs> oh. This is just chaos in the Royal Navy squadron. They've lost all cohesion. They're just flapping about. It's a fantastic hit on uh, War Spike. Funny to give a cruiser that name, but okay. Another hit on the main tower, causing a lot of damage. damage on the upper works at the moment. But those flooding hits, well that certainly helps. What's my charging in? That is not a good idea. Just get a torpedo off. Uh, so do we. Fox sinks. a lot of sustained gunfire. Even a torpedo hit. <laughs> Where did that come from? Who got the torpedo hit? It was the Helena. <laughs> Great job, but you can kind of see the difference between the refitted slash upgraded ships. So this is the base model. This is... One of the refits, performing almost as well as the full upgraded versions. Um, but yeah, pretty weak showing by the Royal Navy there. Uh, I would be very disappointed <laughs> if I was there. That's, uh, that's not great. That's not great what they've managed to do there. Anyway, I'm probably going to end the episode here. And uh, I will see you again soon, hopefully, for some more... Ultimate Apple Dreadnoughts. Bye for now.